podium too as well. I'm a Moriori Budgety person. I just want to let everyone know out there about the injustices that are happening here in a little community called Ingonia, especially here on Clearheart Village. I'm here at the front of the uh, Moriori Local Aboriginal Lands Council. Um, look, I want to give you an idea on how fraudulent the Aboriginal Lands Councils are. At the moment, a majority of people that are on the board, um, including the CEO, um, is not from this traditional country. They don't come from here. Um, so people that are running this land council, they don't come from here. The other thing is they've got, they've built this big fence around it. Now out here there was never a fence around this land council. Uh, only one person ever broke into this land council here, and that was a family member of those people that don't come from here. The other thing is we've got a defibrillator here. Defibrillator. Now only two people are trained to use this defibrillator and there's over 50 people that live on this reserve. Um, when the training came around, no one was asked to do the training about this defibrillator. Now we've got family members here on this reserve um, that, have, uh, that have did CPR to bring people back. This defibrillator could have came in handy. And this been here for uh, you know over a, a few months now uh, to a year. Um, Look, in terms of the paperwork, um, the members came together a couple of weeks ago and they called for an annual general meeting in two weeks. An AGM notice was sent out. Uh, that AGM notice was uh, signed by a chairperson and then the week uh, uh, that notice went out and it was uh, personally signed by that person, uh, that chairperson at that time. But then a notice came on Friday last week um, that said that we couldn't have an, uh, an AGM um, which was by another chairperson um, so that that was a, a chairperson uh, they had a board meeting and the chairperson was changed one business day uh, before the AGM and a notice went out that the AGM couldn't go ahead now we had the AGM the AGM went ahead look we've got all these signatures here of people that signed this here that uh, don't agree with what's going on with the Aboriginal Lands Council here at the moment. Now I want to make a predicament right here and right now on behalf of the Murawari and, and Budgety Elders and community members out here at Ingonia that this Land Council needs to be opened by Monday next week and they need to move out of here otherwise the Elders will move them out of here and we will uh, make sure that they've got access to this office because Aboriginal Lands Councils, they should be open and they should be coinciding with the traditional law. So that predicament that this Lands Council right here should be open by Monday. And just to give you guys all an idea on how fraudulent Aboriginal Lands Councils are, and they've never even assisted throughout this COVID pandemic. These Aboriginal communities were struggling and they were struggling because these institutions are making decisions on the health, welfare and well-being of Aboriginal people on Aboriginal lands and there's been no progress. So just letting you mob know that this lands, Aboriginal Lands Council here at Ingonia on Clearheart Village needs to be opened by Monday and the people that are in there now need to be out of there and we'll make sure of that.